my hands on some BBC micro bits to have a play around with. I haven't got one yet for all of my Year 7 students, really looking forward to those arriving. Um, I just managed to get five from a science technician, I'm not really sure how that happened, um, but she very kindly handed over five for me to play with. Um, and I have to say, I was a bit sceptical about all the hype surrounding these things, but they are really good fun to play around with. So if you look online, you've got four languages that you can uh, program them with, JavaScript or Microsoft's Block Editor or Touch Develop. They're all fantastic, really easy to use, um, but Python's the real game changer for me because it can support all the stuff that we teach um, in school already. The only downside to the Python editor online is that you can't simulate um, uh, your code. You can, of course, copy it to the physical device and run it, which is great, um, but you can't um, run it in the browser. So um, I've been looking to see if I can um, get uh, a micro bit module working on create.withcode.uk so the students can write some code and play around with it. Um, so the idea is that you can write the code and then simulate it in your browser. Now this is really important um, for me because if a student hasn't got their micro bit, if it's broken or they've sold it or they've lost it, um, it'd be really frustrating um, if most students, most year sevens, are playing around with their micro bits but one or two haven't got them. So the ability to simulate code in a browser um, is easy for that reason. Also, it's much, much easier to debug your code um, because you can run it line by line, um, step through, see all of the variables, um, see which line of code we're on, um, and uh, it's just easier to debug as you go. Um, also, you don't have to wait for the code to copy across to the, to the device. So I've started making this little simulator. Um, so the idea is you can test it on here. Um, and if I press A, it should change from a happy face to a sad face. Then when you're happy with the code, when it works, you can download the hex file. Um, and then if you copy that across to your micro bit, um, which just works as a little bit of um, a USB storage um, device, if I find the right one, just copy it across. It then starts copying. Micro bit starts flashing around until it's done. So it's copying across the Python runtime and the code as well, um, and it's worked. So, I don't know if I can hold the, the camera as well as press the button. If we press the button, it should switch from a happy to a sad face. So it's not finished yet. There's loads of development work still left to do. I've made it support um, the Python for images um, and for buttons, but I haven't yet made any code for the uh, accelerometer, the compass, the um, Bluetooth, anything like that. Um, but have a play around. Um, let me know what you're able to create. Thank you.